In this video, you will learn how to add and subtract integers. So beginning with addition, we will begin by adding integers that have the same sign. So for example, 2 plus 6. All right, we're starting basic here, and both numbers are positive numbers. And so on the number line, what you are doing is you're starting from 0, and 2 would be 2 to the right. So starting at 0, go 2 to the right, which takes you right here. And then plus 6 means you're going further to the right. So go from 2, 6 more to the right. And notice that takes you there to the number 8. So our solution would be 8. Now what if we had negative 2 plus negative 6? So again, on the number line, negative 2 would be starting at 0 and going 2 to the left. So negatives are going to the left. And then if you add a negative 6, you're going from negative 2, 6 more to the left, which would take you over here to negative 8. So our solution is negative 8. Now, obviously, we don't want to have to use the number line every time we're trying to add or subtract numbers. But hopefully this helps you visualize what's happening. So our goal is to get just from the problem to our answer and not need the number line. So the rules are when you are adding with the same sign, so either both positive or both negative, you keep the sign the same. So if it's positive, your answer is positive. Or if it's negative, your answer will still be negative. And then just add the absolute value of the numbers. So like 2 and 6, just add 2 plus 6 to get 8. And it's going to be positive because both numbers were positive to begin with. And then negative 2 plus negative 6, we keep the sign negative because both numbers were negative when we started. And we add the 2 and the 6 together to get the 8. So that is why it would be a negative 8. So here are some examples where we are trying to add in our head the following. So we have 3 plus 8. So this one is going to be a positive 11 because we have positive 3 plus a positive 8. We keep the sign and add 3 and 8 together to get the 11. If you had negative 3 plus negative 8, this would be negative 11 because both signs were negative. So we keep the sign as negative in our solution and just add the 8 and the 3 together to get the 11. Now what if you had negative 5 plus negative 9? Well here, this would be negative 14. We keep the sign negative and then add the 5 and the 9 together to get 14. What about 7 plus 9? Well, they're both positive, so our answer is positive, And we just simply add 7 plus 9 to get 16. So this is adding when the numbers are the same sign. Now what if we are adding numbers where the signs are different? So maybe one's positive and one is negative. So for example, we have negative 2 plus 6. Well, on the number line, negative 2 plus 6, we go negative 2 on the number line. So we start at 0 and go 2 to the left. So 2 to the left takes you right here. And then the positive 6 means you're going from here, from negative 2, and we're going 6 to the right because that is the positive direction. And notice that takes us to the number 4. So our solution is 4. Now what about 3 plus negative 8? So we have a positive for the first number and a negative for the second number. So this one on the number line, we would start by going from 0, 3 to the right, because 3 is positive, and positive would be towards the right. Now plus negative 8. From 3, we have to go in the negative direction, which would be to the left. And we go over 8 places. And if we go over 8 places, we can count it over, and that would take us to negative 5. So our solution would be negative 5. So again, our objective is to not need the number line each time we add or subtract numbers. But this might be helpful for you to visualize what's happening. So to get from the problem straight to the solution without needing the number line, 
the rules are as follows. What we do is we subtract the absolute value of the numbers and then keep the sign of the bigger number. So for example, here at the first one, we have negative two plus six. Okay, the signs are different. So we subtract the two numbers, six minus two, the bigger by the smaller. Six minus two gives four. And then we keep the sign of the larger number, the one with the bigger absolute value. So six is bigger than two, and six was positive, so our solution would be positive. Whereas the second one, we have a positive 3 and negative 8. So again, we must subtract 8 minus 3, the bigger by the smaller. 8 minus 3 is 5. And the 8 is bigger than 3. It's bigger absolute value than 3. And 8 was negative, so our solution would be negative. So our solution is a negative 5. Okay, here are some examples where we can practice some more with adding with different signs. So next example, we have negative three plus eight. So it's similar to the last problem, but the signs are opposite. And so because the signs are different, we can subtract the eight minus three to get five, and eight is bigger than three, and eight was positive, so our solution will be a positive five. And then three plus negative eight, we actually did this on the previous slide, but here the signs are different, so we can subtract the eight minus three to get five, and it's gonna be a negative five because eight is bigger than three, and eight was negative, so we make the sign negative. Now what about five plus negative nine? The signs are different, so we subtract the nine minus five to get four, and then we make the sign negative because the nine is bigger than five, and nine is negative, so our solution will be negative four. Next, we have negative seven plus nine. For this one, again, the signs are different, so we can subtract nine minus seven to get two, and nine is bigger than seven, and nine was positive, so our solution will be a positive two. So we have learned how to add when the signs are different and when they are the same. Now we can move on to subtraction. And if you can add integers together, you can subtract as well. Because subtraction is the same thing as adding the opposite. And we're gonna prove that here with an example. If I were to say, take five minus two. Well, five minus two is three, right? Now let's compare that with adding the opposite. So instead of subtracting, a positive 2, we're going to add a negative 2. So we're adding the opposite, changing the sign. Instead of minus, we have plus, and the 2 now becomes a negative 2. Well, 5 plus negative 2 would also equal 3, right? Because we subtract the two numbers, 5 minus 2 to get 3, and keep the sign of the larger, which was 5. 5 was positive, so our solution is a positive 3. So we verified that subtracting is the same thing as adding the opposite. In math notation, or in symbols, we can say that a minus b is equal to a plus a negative b for any real numbers a and b. So a and b are just any numbers, and this would be how you express that in math notation. So in words, we would say a minus b equals a plus the opposite of b. So let's get some practice with converting a subtraction problem into an addition problem. If I said six minus 15, how would you write that as an addition problem? Well, that is the same thing as six plus the opposite of 15. So six plus a negative 15. Okay, so we're adding the opposite of 15 to six. Now if I said negative six minus 10, again, the subtraction we can think of as adding the opposite. So instead of subtracting a 10, we can add a negative 10. So we're adding the opposite of 10 to the number negative six. Now what if I said six minus negative seven? This one is 
kind of weird because we're subtracting a negative number. But again, we can change this into an addition problem. Instead of subtracting a negative seven, we can add a positive seven. So six plus a positive seven. Okay, because we're adding the opposite of negative seven to the number six. And the opposite of negative seven, as we said, is positive seven. So this, when you see a minus a negative number, that basically just becomes a plus, six plus seven. All right, so the double negatives make a positive. Okay, now we're gonna take it a step further and we're going to actually try to solve. So here we see some examples. The first example, we are taking negative three minus two. All right, so this we can think of as adding the opposite. So if we want, we can think of this as negative three plus negative two. So here we have two negatives. So we're adding, adding integers with the same sign, which means we take the three and the two and add them together to get five and it's gonna be a negative five, right? Because we keep the sign if the signs are the same. So our solution would be negative five. Next, we see four minus negative eight. So for this one, instead of subtracting a negative eight, we can think of this as adding the opposite. So adding a positive eight. So four plus eight, that would equal 12. So again, when we subtract a negative, it becomes a plus. Now, what about negative five minus a negative six? So this one is pretty much the same as the last one, at least the beginning part, because when you subtract a negative, that is the same thing as adding the opposite, so adding a positive. So what we have is negative five plus six. So here the signs are different, one's negative, one's positive. So the rule was that we will subtract six minus five to get one, and then keep the sign of the larger absolute value. Six is bigger than five, and six was positive, so our answer would be a positive one. Now to finish off, we will look at some examples where we have to translate from English into math notation, and then solve from there. So the next example, we are subtracting seven from negative six. So when it says subtract seven, that means we take this number, negative six, and we subtract seven. So we take negative six minus seven. And we're showing this because many times people will put it the other way around. So that is not negative seven, or it's not, um, it's not seven, minus negative six is negative six minus seven. So make sure you have it written the correct way. And now from here, we can think of this as an addition problem. And so we have negative six plus the opposite of seven, so plus negative seven. So the signs are the same, they're both negative. So we do six plus seven, we add them to get 13, and then keep the sign as a negative number. So our solution is negative 13. And by the way, with practice, okay, we don't want to have to write out this middle step every time. We want to be able to do this in our heads quickly over time. But here as we learn the process, this is our thought process. Another example, we are subtracting negative four from the number 12. So to set this one up, we start with the 12, and then we subtract, so minus the negative four. So we have 12 minus negative four. And to solve this, minus a negative four, we can change this into adding the opposite, which would be adding a positive four, which would give us 16 as a solution. Another example, we're subtracting 10 from the number negative five. So for this one, we start with negative five and then subtract 10 means we have minus 10. So we have negative five minus 10. And for this one, we have the minus, which we can write as adding the opposite, so adding a negative 10. So here we see more clearly that the signs are the same, they're both negative. So we have to add the five and the 10 to get 15, and then keep the sign negative because both numbers were negative. 
So our solution is negative 15. So in this lesson, we've learned how to add and we've learned how to subtract with integers. And that concludes our lesson for today. We will see you next time.